How are you all doing today? Pretty good? How about all these dogs? Let's hear it for the dogs. Let's give the dogs a hand. That's right, Ushang, I can sing too. I got all the skills. Welcome everybody. Thank you for being here today. We know this is Austin. There are always so many, so many things and events going on. Uh, even today there's a lot of other dog events. So we honestly and sincerely are grateful that you came to spend your time with us today. So welcome to the Austin Facial Hair Club's fourth annual dog beard and mustache competition. We started this, obviously, this is the fourth one, so it's grown quite a bit. An amazing uh, crowd and audience. It gets bigger every year. We get to donate more money every year, all thanks to you guys. And it's really about the dogs. So thank you guys all for coming. Just give you a little history of how this got started before I announce our illustrious panel of judges. And then uh, CJ also is part of that. Um, Boo. So, uh, as you all know, if you, how many of you out there have heard of the Austin Facial Hair Club before? How many of you n have not heard of the Austin Facial Hair Club? How dare you, Neil? How dare you? So anyway, we compete uh, and hold an annual competition. Uh, we recently, just in September, hosted the World's Beard and Mustache Competition which was the first time in Texas, only the third time in the United States. Usually it's hosted in Europe. So we were honored and lucky enough to host it here. It was a tremendous success. People from all over the world were here. And uh, we also, as a club, we travel all around the world to participate in beard competitions. And so one year, a few years ago, uh, our good friend Taylor, uh, he's the vice president of media, and our president, Brian Nelson. Everybody know Brian Nelson and Taylor? Taylor Weldon? If you don't know them, I envy you. But anyway, um, they were somewhere in Europe and somebody was kind of making fun of the idea of a beard competition. And whoever this person was said, what's next? A dog beard and mustache competition? And being the assholes that Brian and Taylor are, they were both like, that sounds like a pretty fucking cool idea, right? So here we are four years later and uh, we're hosting our fourth annual one. And it's, they're always great. We always raise a lot of money. We started out raising money for the Austin Animal Center. Uh, today, all the money that you're paying to register, um, all the money you paid to get in, is going to our friends at Lovable, Pitbull Rescue, and also much more than that. And the uh, Schrode Memorial Fund, which is over here, an amazing organization. You'll get to learn a little bit more about them later. But uh, they both are amazing organizations, they do amazing things, and just so you know, especially in a world like today where if you turn on the news it seems like everything has gone to shit, you guys are here helping out the helpers and the givers, the people in our community that are saving dogs, that are helping dogs. So just know we're here to have fun, it's silly, but also this is what normal life looks like. Most people do great things and are amazing people, and just because the news says different, I'm glad that we all turned off our TVs and came here today to celebrate dogs and to help out Austin's own helpers, the Schrode Memorial Fund and Lovable. So thank you guys for doing that. Let's have a round of applause for Schrode Memorial Fund and Lovable. Are you guys ready to see some dogs? And some dog beer and a mustache? Are you ready? I don't hear anything. Are you guys ready? But first, wouldn't you want to know who the judges are at this event? How are they qualified? That's what I'd like to know. How are these judges qualified? Let's find out a little more. Bring up our first judge, uh, Mr. He's a member of the Austin Facial Hair Club in uh, not good standing, okay standing, somewhat. It depends. Alex, what's his standing today? Taylor? Shitty standing. He's about to get, in fact, if he does terrible today, we might, we might suspend him. Please give a round of applause for Taylor Weldon. His back hurts. So uh, he might be moving slow. Come say a few words, Taylor. Tell them a little bit about yourself. 
Hey guys, I'm Taylor, and uh, let me tell you about how this event started. So, uh, Brian and I, I'm just kidding, Brian, Paul already told me that. We did that last year, it was funny, but it was accidental. Did what last year? Pretended like I told it. Just fuck up. That's why you're not in good standing. Can you see why he's not in very good standing with the club now? Taylor Weldon, everybody. He is qualified to judge this, because look at that fucking mane on him, dude. He is a world champion himself. Our next illustrious judge. He's been here every year judging. You guys all might know him from the radio, uh, based on his ratings. Maybe not all of you, so a few of you might know who he is. Mr. C.J. Morgan, KLBJ. Please make your way up. Hi, CJ. Thank you for having me. Uh, most of you know me as the guy with the crippled wiener. Unfortunately, Miles passed away this year, but uh, hey, hey, he's still with us. He wanted to come, so. Love you, Miles, and thank you all so much for coming out and supporting this great event. It's going to be awesome. I didn't really think he was going to do that, but awesome. Miles is great. We used to start out the competition with Miles crawling across the stage. It got everybody in a good heart-centered space. Today, I said, could you bring one of those uh, collars we used to have as a kid where the invisible dog and just kind of walk out? But instead, he decided to share Miles' ashes with all of you. So enjoy. Enjoy that. We actually, me and Taylor, went to Miles' funeral. He did a Viking funeral, full-on pyre. CJ <laughs> set it on fire with arrows. It was super awesome, especially uh, if you were on mushrooms like we were. It was really, really good. It tastes good. I, I snorted some earlier, it's, if we seem high up here. Okay, so our next guest, not guest, judge. She's her first time judging the competition. She's a comedian. Um, I don't know uh, necessarily about her taste in men, but she seems awfully nice. Miss Lisa Friedrich. Hello, thank you for having me, and thank you for bringing all of your dogs and kids. Yeah. For, let's hear it for Lisa, everybody. Yeah, don't... Don't be afraid you're gonna waste your, all, all your applause during the dog show. Don't, don't hold back. <laughs> Our next judge, also a first timer. It's also the first time we have been sponsored by Tito's Vodka. Who here likes Tito's Vodka? <laughs> They're amazing, they sponsor this, they donate a whole bunch of money, and we love them. And we wanna welcome Beth, oh shit. Beth Bellanti from Tito's. <laughs> A lot of people may not know this, but over the last 20 years, Tito and the team that I work with have saved 70 dogs that it, were strays at the distillery, and it, it formed a program called Vodka for Dog People, where we're helping dogs all over the world now through Tito. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Our next judge, she's also been here since the beginning. This will be her fourth time judging. We love her. She is the owner and operator of Mother Loves Star Dogs. Please give a round of applause to Annie McReynolds. Hi, thanks for being here. Um, it's Mother Rockstar Dogs. <laughs> Mother Love. Mother Love Bone, sorry, I'm very old. Love them. Anyway, um, yeah, we board dogs and do socialization and ha they play in groups and all of that. And I'm really happy to be here and it has grown, that's for sure. Thank you, Paul. Nice train wreck, Paul. <laughs> they board dogs by letting Taylor talk to them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I got a lot more, so start booing now. Our final judge, she is one of our very own members of the Austin Facial Hair Club. She's a whiskerina. She's a champion. She's the mother of two furry babies and Taz. You'll get to meet him later, I'm sure. Miss, yeah, three fur babies. That motherfucker's furry, too. This is Cala Gonzalez. Everybody give a round of applause. She loves speaking in public. 
Already dropping the MF ball? <laughs> I like that heckling has started already. This is a good event. And Chris Cubis isn't even here. <laughs> First competitor up to the stage, the gnarliest dog. Let's hear a round of applause from all the audience. The first competitor in the fourth annual dog beer and mustache competition. Take your time. Take your time. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Hurry up. Shit. Oh, yeah. We can let the audience see you. Yeah, get in that camera, baby. What's your name and what's your dog's name? I'm Martin, and this is Odin. Odin. Odin's been here before. Yes, he uh, won Nadia's beard last year. He won last year. He's trying to maintain that title. What uh, breed of dog is Odin? He is a German wire-haired pointer or a Muppet. <laughs> Frankly, that sounds made up. All right, Odin, take your last lap. Let everybody see that gnarly fucking beard. And then walk by the stage, please. Let the judges check Odin out. All right, look at this little gnarly rat. What is your name and what's your dog's name? Uh, my name is Carlina and this is John Shaft. John Shaft. What kind of dog is John Shaft? He's a Yorkie Poo. A Yorkie Poo. Funny that I think I've had poos bigger than that. We'll be here all day. I don't care. Let's hear it for the Yorkie Poo. Everybody give a round of applause. Make your way over to the judges table, please. If you think these jokes are bad, wait till we do the old timers. Oh, you're really gonna love that. Come on up to the stage, sir. Look at this cutie pie. What's your name and what's your dog's name? My name is Cora and his name's Chewy. Chewy, what kind of dog is Chewy? He is an Afghan pincher. An Afghan pincher? Afghan pincher. Afghan pincher, I think that sounds made up too. How long has Afghan been growing that beard out? Uh, about a year now. How old is he? He's six years old. Oh, wow, he just something he started new, right on. Let's hear it for Chewy, everybody. Make your way over to the judges' table, please. Next competitor, please come up to the stage. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Are you sure it's not the old-timers category? What's your name and what's your dog's name? My name's Tyrone, but you can call me Paul. And the dog's name's Vladimir. But you can call him second place. <laughs> Vladimir, what kind of dog is Vladimir besides on its last leg? He's 10 years old, he's a Boston Terrier, and we think Poodle Mix. Something got hurt during that, I don't know what's going on. Let's hear it for him, give him a round of applause, let the judges check you out. I'm just kidding, puppy. He actually, we did a competition one time at a park, was it for Best Friends? That wasn't our first one, that was Best Friends. But he won, so he's a, a former champion. Might, might be his last shot, so. <laughs> Shut up. What's your name and uh, what's your dog's name? I'm Melissa and this is Gimli. Gimli! Gimli is a miniature German schnauzer? Um, yeah, miniature schnauzer. Miniature schnauzer, that's what I grew up with. Mine used to bite me. Gimli a biter? Are you a biter? I don't trust that bastard. <laughs> Let the crowd check out his beard. His beard is awesome. Very, very gnarly. Let the judges check it out. Paul, do you want Gimli to be a biter or what? Ew! Thank you. Is it even is it even 1 p.m. on a Saturday yet? For God's sakes. Let's get our next competitor with a little David Bowie tribute going on right for us. Can't go wrong with that. What's your name and your dog's name? My name's Sandy and this is Zuzu Stardust. Zuzu Stardust. It's all coming together. What kind of dog is Zuzu Stardust? She's a brush shit. A brush shit. Brushon and Shih Tzu. Oh, Brussels Brushon and Shih Tzu. She looks like she takes orders very well, very well socialized. But you're giving the, giving the props to David Bowie. I think that scores extra points. What do you guys think? Yeah! Everybody loves David Bowie. Yeah. Who said who? <laughs> Don't make me start making mom jokes, Vega. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, what is your name and your dog's name? Well, I'm James. He's a friend. Fritz. What kind of dog is Fritz? He's just a good boy. He looks like he'd make a good chew toy for my dogs, but he's little. What do you do? Fritz, come over here and let the people see your beer. He's already looking at the prizes like he knows he won. I respect the confidence, Fritz. 
We all like the confidence. Let the judges check Fritz's mangly, mangly beard out there. It's gnarly. I think he's got food stuck in it. I like it. All right. Dress the same. You can still hold on. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. What is your name? What's your puppy's name? I'm Tiffany, and this is Rodman. <laughs> Rodman. Yeah. Y'all uh, go to the same tailor, I see. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I have that problem too. What is Rodman? What breed is Rodman? Cocker Spaniel Poodle. Cocker Spaniel Poodle. He's a handsome devil. And he's got a great beard. He obviously loves getting his picture taken. Give a round of applause. You cute little bastard, you. Let the judges check him out. All right, if, one second. If you are in the freestyle category, please make your way to the side stage as we continue up here with Gnarliest Beard. What's your name and what's your dog's name? I'm Candace, and this is Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo's pretty cute. What kind of dog? Look at that smile. What kind of dog is Boo Boo? He's a Lazaso Poodle Shih Tzu, so we call him Lots of Shit. <laughs> now you remind me of my mother. This dog is so excited. How much cocaine did he do this morning? Is it too early for a dog? Everybody get a good look. Give a round of applause. <laughs> Freestyle, make your way to the side stage, please. All righty. Who do we have here? What's your name and what's your dog's name? I'm Shannon, and this is Merida. Merida. Oh, she's a princess. Merida. What kind of dog is Merida? We like to think of her as a Texas-sized Shih Tzu. Texas-sized Shih Tzu. Well, we'll just let your imaginations run with that. Anybody have barbecue yesterday? We'll see. Let's hear it for Merida, everybody. Make your way to the judges' table. All righty, making our way to the stage. Young man, what is your name? Levi. Levi? And Gremlin. And Gremlin? Gremlin. Levi and Gremlin. What kind of dog is Levi? A chicken. A chicken. <laughs> this is Texas. Don't tell everybody that there. All of a sudden, Gremlin goes missing, and there's tacos in the back. We don't know what's going on. How's Gremlin doing with that uh, that crazy, crazy beard going on? You got. You guys obviously comb him very much, very often. And he loves the fact that you're holding him, I can't tell. He looks so happy. Let the crowd check out Gremlin, then let the judges check him out, get up there so they can see it. Thank you very much, Levi. I'd like to point out there's a full-on Falcor tail beard happening there. Yes! So does Taylor. Oh, teeth. Come back to the stage, please. Let's get him back up here. That's Chewy, correct? Where's, uh, we got Odin and Gremlin coming back up. Levi, where's Levi with Gremlin? Wasn't that the last one? All right here. I think now we'll have the apps figured out from here on out. If not, um, you can go ahead and leave a Yelp review. <laughs> And I will respond to you. Trust me. Be nice out there, Taz. Be nice. All righty, folks. Let's have a round of applause for our top three. We got Chewy. We got Grumlin over there. And we got Mr. Odin, last year's winner. So how we're going to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and announce the first place winner. The beautiful Ashley behind you will give you your prize. Look behind you. Once you get your prize, step up to the front, get your picture taken. The second and third place still stay on stage. All three of you come up in front, get your pictures taken, and then hurry the fuck up off the stage. Pardon my language, Levi, but I'm sure looking at your dad, it's nothing you've never heard before. <laughs> All right. In the gnarliest dog category, our winner, Chewy, everybody! Chewy is the winner. Chewy, 
see. Look at these great gifts we got. Bags full of goodies. I'll announce that. Don't worry about it, Vega. You'll know when you're supposed to be up here when we never invite you to MC anything ever. All right, you get your pictures taken. All right, everybody, first, second, third, get up here. Get your pictures taken, please. All right, making their way to the stage, our first dog in the freestyle category. What is your name and what is your dog's name? Dean, what kind of dog is Dean? Dean is a Shih Tzu. Dean is a punk rocker. Got the skater haircut going. I love it. How did he feel about you dying, or is that just how he looks every day? Uh, he wasn't very happy about it, but we got it done. Will he be more happy if he wins one of those great prizes? Oh, definitely. Let the fans take a look. Give them some applause. Walk up there. Let them see him close. And then make your way to the judges table. Once again, if you're in the best groomed category, make your way to the side stage, please. All right, that's enough. Yeah, what's up? And our next contestant in the freestyle category. What is your name and what is your pup's name? My name is Daniel and this is Jim. Jim. How'd Jim go freestyle? Well, he's got a triple pointy uh, look on, on his head. Oh, he does. He's got some Liberty Spikes going. We all love, we're at the Mohawk. He's perfect. We like punk rock. He's a little shy, that's okay. Most punks are introverts. We hide from society. Oh, but Jim's got tricks! Jim's got tricks. Let the crowd check Jim out, then let the uh, judges take. Check him out also. <laughs> All right, Jim, take your time, buddy. We only have 17 more categories, dude. Of the freestyle dog category... <laughs> Dean is the winner! <laughs> Told you he would love it. Got painted up, got your face painted, but look at all the great gifts you get. You maybe hold those four in Rome while she gets her picture taken. <laughs> She's married, dude. Come on up, bro. All right, what's your name and what's your dog's name? My name's Randall and this is Juan. Juan, how much? Oh, Juan, Juan, Juan in a million. How long did it take you to groom Juan? He's kind of self-grooming, actually. He has no undercoat. But that coat looks illustrious. It's glowing, it's shiny. What do you guys all think? Can you get a good look of Juan? Yeah. Beautiful dog, let the judges check out Juan. Juan looks good. All right, next competitor. Oh, one second. Sir, what is your name and what's your dog's name? My name's Tony and this is Albert. Albert. What kind of dog is Albert? Uh, I think he's a weepy terrier, a slut mutt, I don't know. He's a weepy terrier, slut mutt. How long have you had? Uh, three years. Say Albert? Albert, Albie. Albie. You've had oh, Albert for three years? Oh, you are gorgeous. Gorgeous dog, very soft. Did you brush him and condition him regularly? Uh, I, pay, I, I, I definitely pay people to do that. Cause... Do you pay people to brush and uh, shampoo you regularly? Well, how much are we talking? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're the one paying. <laughs> uh, no. Let Albie take a look. Everybody give Albie a round of applause. Make it over to the judges' table. Oh my God. Next competitor, please make your way. Oh, that is mighty, mighty. That's a privilege. Did, uh, where's Stephanie? Did you guys make sure that was a dog at the front when it registered, or are you sure? Okay, I just want to be clear. What's your name and what's your dog's name? My name is Cindy and this is Sir Zigzag. Sir Zigzag? Child. You named him after rolling papers. I like that, ma'am. <laughs> I like it. Very old school. What kind of a dog slash rabbit is this? A Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terrier. I believe you just said that. How old is Zigzag? Three and a half. Three and a half. Do you groom him yourself? No. Posh Paws. Posh Paws. Here's a little shout out to Posh Paws. Let the audience uh, take a look. What a beautiful mane that doggy has. Oh my God. 
Oh my God, what my dog would do to you. He might get eaten if he comes to the judges' stage. Same he thing. might. He could literally fit in a hot dog bun. That's crazy. I don't know. Everybody, let's hear it for Zigzag. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta... That dog might get lost in that beard. Stop bogarting You gotta pass that zigzag. <laughs> Okay. You listen to you guys in the side stage. All right, now come on. We're ready for you. Sir, you bring on your beautiful, very well groomed. I mean, that's just not fair. Very nice beard. What's your name, sir? What's your dog's name? Uh, my name is Philip, and this is Lily. Philip and Lily. What kind of dog is Lily? She's a Scottish Terrier. Scottish Terrier. Come on, Lily. Don't be afraid. These people will bite, but you bite better, I betcha. How old is Lily? Lily's a uh, five now. Do you brush that beard out every day? No. Terrible, terrible owner. We don't hold that against you. It's all about the dogs. Let the judges check you out. Let the crowd, let's hear a round of applause for Lily. I mean, sir, I don't know who I've ever met before. Oh, somebody's not shy. Watch out, I've seen him pee on a whole line of photographers one time. <laughs> I would say it wasn't funny, except it was really fucking funny. What's your name, sir, and what's your dog's name? Uh, my name is Alex, and this is Henry the Duke of Ponies. Henry the Duke of Ponies. Now, haven't you guys participated before and won an award, but not the best groomed? Uh, he is uh, a, currently a champion in Lookalike. The owner of Lookalike. I bet nobody would ever guess that, huh? Would you tell everybody uh, about the time you attempted to express his anal glands? Oh, God. <laughs> How long have you guys got? Um, uh, could you just show us? Could you just we don't have time. Could show you reenact us, the look he gave you when you attempted to do it? All right, this is the look that he gave me when I attempted to express his anal glands. <laughs> Let's hear it for Henry, everybody. Dad, is this where our relationship's gone to now? I think he wants to stage dive. Alright, that's a little too much sucking up to the judge. Alright, turn, turn your babies away. They don't need to see this until they're 13. Alright. Here is our. Uh oh, somebody doesn't want to come. When my dogs do that, I just beat the shit out of them, and then they, no, I'm totally oh, kidding, that's a terrible joke. Dude! None of those jokes ever go over well, maybe next year. What's your name and what's your dog's name? My name is Stacy, and this is Frank. Frank? Frank. Nice to meet you, Frank. Frank is a schnauzer, I see. <laughs> yes. How often do you groom Frank? I don't. He, he self-grooms. He's like a cat. Oh, he goes to, oh, he goes to the salon. Well... Somebody has a good job up here. Oh, that's good. good job, pays shit. Um, how old? He's three years old. Three years old, a handsome boy, obviously very shy. Let the crowd get a good look at that nice, nice, well-groomed mane. And let the judges check it out also. Somebody got into the crystal meth today. What is your name and your dog's name, please? No. <laughs> snow. We get it. How old is Snow and what kind of uh, what kind of drug dog is it? It's a six year old mini schnauzer. Very mini. She seems to be very happy. You must treat her very well. I try. But why is she shaking? Do you have anything to say, Snow? You know nothing, Snow. Yes, no, you can meet us behind the stage during the break. We'll get high together. Let's know, everybody, check Snow out. Let the judges check him out. When you check him out, you feel free to walk up to the stage. Uh, people won't, I don't know this gentleman here. He might bite, I don't know. God, I'm taking this one home with me. If it ain't pit, it ain't shit. That's what we say in my house, but what is your name and what's your dog's name? 
Dexter. Dexter, like the murderer, Dexter. Well, you picked the right breed to name Dexter, son of a bitch. How old is Dexter? Dexter seems, should Dexter even be out in public yet? Is, is, is he had all the shots? He's current. He's almost four months. Almost four months old. Gorgeous dog. So this is just all natural four month grooming, or are you actually brushing him? Nope, that's it. Do you do you brush your husband, Brandon? No. Could you start? Because look at that mange out there. He should have been in the fucking gnarly competition. I don't know what's going on. Everybody, let's give a round of applause for Dexter the puppy. How cute. Dexter, please do not shit on stage. All right, all right. Oh, look at this. It's like an advertisement for a groomer. What is your name and what is your dog's name? Odie? Odie, like from Garfield. Nice. What kind of dog is Odie? Another miniature schnauzer. You obviously take some effort into grooming. Do you do the grooming yourself? You do. And how does Odie feel about it? Um, he wasn't thrilled this morning, but... Do you save a lot of money on Swiffer Sweepers at your house? I do. I do. Odie, what are you doing over here? You're definitely not hungry, I can tell that. You're just walking around roaming. Let's hear it for Odie, everybody. Odie the schnauzer. What are you doing, Brenda? Also, uh, Weight Watchers is one of our sponsors, or was Doggy Weight Watchers, just to take care. That looks like a workout. Nobody likes making fun of the dogs here, I see. Alrighty, sir. Bring this handsome dog up to us, please. Cutie, cutie pie. Best groomed, last category, or last contestant. What is your name and what is your dog's name? I'm John, this is Theo. Theo, Theo, another schnauzer. Another miniature schnauzer. Right on, are you the responsible for all the beautiful grooming? Half the grooming, my wife does the other half. Really, you, you split it? Do you do the front half or the back half? I do the non-show side. The non-show side. We're gonna need you to show everybody his belly right now and see how that looks down there. He is well groomed. Oh, he looks good down there. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm sorry. Damn. He just side eyed me. Show the crowd, everybody. Give a round of applause. Uh, I hope it's a dragon. Oh, well, you fucked that up, doggy. What is he doing? What's your name and what's your dog's name? I'm back and I'm Shannon. And this is Merida the Bearded Dragon. The Bearded Dragon. Oh, you're doing multiple categories. I like it. More chances to win. I don't know what to say about this. It's the group best groomed category. Did you sew that costume yourself? Definitely. Good answer, good answer. Everybody check out the bearded dragon. We got shaved balls, bearded dragons. Who knows what's next? Uh-oh, here comes the Night King with his ice spear and miss. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for the top three. And the first prize goes to Sir Zigzag! Let's hear it for Zigzag! Round of applause, everybody scream. Don't leave yet, we're gonna get your picture. We're gonna get your pictures. The uh, nonprofits that we're donating to, the, to today. And it's something that we didn't know about until recently. Um, how many of you out here, by round of applause, have adopted or rescued animals? And sometimes I know, uh, in working with Austin Animal Center, Austin Pets Alive, Lovable, uh, one of the challenges people can have when rescuing an animal is sometimes there's behavior issues or confidence issues or um, one of the biggest issues the rescues have is people bringing the dogs back because there's a problem with their kids or something of that nature. We experienced that. Um, Diane and I rescued a dog. Her name is Barker Posey. Thank you, Tony. And Barker Posey in the Austin Animal Center was ranked rock star with all the dogs. So they'll do like different play groups, little dogs, big dogs. And she was great with these dogs. And we introduced her to one of our other dogs. She played well. 
And then uh, the second day we had her, I took her to the coffee shop with me, and I leashed her to the table like I also do with the other dog. And when dogs would walk by, my other dog would jump and want to play and all that. And it took me a few seconds to realize that Barker Posey was not jumping in a playful manner. She was more uh, lunging like a murder fucking dog. Um, and so I couldn't figure it out. And basically it was, she had very aggressive on a leash. Um, doing the investigation before we found her, she was an outdoor dog, wasn't used to being a family dog, was it definitely wasn't used to being on a leash. And so in looking for solutions is how we found the Schrode uh, Memorial Training Fund. And what they do, I'll have uh, Becky talk about it more when she comes up, but we found them and used them and so dogs don't get taken back. They will provide a scholarship. So for us, we applied and we were able to take our dog, take Barker Posey through training. Diane, I'm not gonna do it now. Uh, we were able to take Barker Posey through training this summer with a training group. I hear a couple dogs that might need to listen, that you might need to use this fund right now. And so it's really cool. So what it helps is the recidiv recidivism rate of taking dogs back and still you have the opportunity to take your dog through training, confidence courses, and all those things. It's a great organization. I'm gonna bring Becky up here right now. Everybody give her a round of applause from Schrode Memorial Training Fund. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Um, the, the Schrode Fund began because a trainer really looked at the number of dogs who you should be working with where, you know, you have money set aside to do some helpful training, but then you've got issues that are beyond that. And so you run out of money. And those are the dogs that end up back in the shelters. It's, it is the leading cause for returning dogs to shelters. So she wanted to be able to figure out a way to scholarship people who were out of their money to be able to train dogs and if they didn't get more training, they would end up being returned to the shelter or euthanized. So they've been in business doing this for dogs since 2009. Of the dogs that were trained in that first class, 95% of them are still in the homes. Yeah. love about this organization is that everything is volunteer including their board so their administrative costs are about one percent and how did it how did it get started what's who is Schrode so that's a really good question because Schrode was Sherry's dog um, she's the person who founded this organization and that dog had issues and in fact um, some of you may have known who Lee, Lee Mannix was, that dog turned Sherry into a dog trainer because it required so much work that she really learned how to be a dog trainer. Um, and when that dog died, she felt really strongly that that was such a special dog who had been such a great teacher for her that she wanted to do something to help other dogs to memorialize <coughs> that dog who had needed a lot of help herself. Right on. So let's hear it for Becky. Let's hear it for the Schrodinger Memorial Training Fund. I'm glad that we found them and we're able to uh, to donate the proceeds. So thank you guys all for being here, participating. Because so now that you know, you're helping out a really excellent organization run by excellent people. And uh, in this this day and age, it's nice to see that there's people out there that are helping, that are volunteering, that are giving their time for our beloved, beloved furry children. At least that's how we treat ours. So thank you guys all for coming here. Thanks for paying. Now are you ready for the Swedish stash category? <laughs> take your time, like I said, take your time. Wouldn't we have to be out of here anytime soon? Look at that stash, look at that stash. It's not for you, Dave. Look at this beauty. Why is that caterpillar humping that dog? That's what I'd like to know. Well, Some weird things going on. What's your name, sir? Uh, Nobody cares what your name is, sir. What's the name of the dog? Uh, Sway. I've had her for a total of eight minutes. Um, Did you steal this dog? Yeah, from Rome. No. That's all right. That's all right. He probably stole it from somewhere else. So, uh, Why? Because huh. Mexican is bullshit. Why? Because he's Mexican? Is he? 
Oh. Wow, he's from Chile. That's great. <laughs> They're both of you. That's First off, very racist. He doesn't even speak Spanish, so card pulled. Do you speak? I know, where are you from originally? Uh, originally from um, Los Angeles. Cuba, you mean? Yes, Cuba. No, no, no. My parents are Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> Let's everybody give a round of applause for this lovely stash. It's good. It can almost be a lookalike. But then it would come in fourth place. Please remind the audience of your name and your dog's name. I'm Shelly and this is Dean. Dean with a sweet, sweet colored stash going on. Is that all natural? No, it's not. You use a product in it? Yes. We all do, don't we? We all use a product. Everybody take a look at that sweet, sweet stash. Let the crowd walk up and let us see it. Let the judges check it out. All right, they got it. Oh, we got some more repeat customers. Your name, remind everybody your name and your dog's name again. Uh, Alyssa and Gimli. Gimli, look at that stash on Gimli. You got a whole stash goatee thing going on. Did you style it yourself or is that just natural? Uh, that's his natural bed head. What do you want to say? He said, I woke up like this. Let everybody check it out. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> well, look at this. Did you just find this dog in an alley? What's your name? What's your dog's name? <coughs> Nico, and this is Ziggy Smalls. Ziggy. Austin Animal Center. Oh, from the Austin Animal Center. We're big fans big and good friends of the Austin Animal Center. Check out that stash. He's got, he, like, he just does not care. It's all natural. Oh, oh, obviously, it's all natural. You better wash that gray right out of my hair. What a cute dog. He does not give a shit about any of you staring at him right now. Somebody give me a treat. Screw all you. I'll pee on you. He heard the word treat, so he's good. Oh, I get like that too. Show the crowd. Step up here so the crowd can see. Olympia is looking really hard. She wants to see the dog. How are you doing, Olympia? Oh yeah. We got a we got a beauty. Oh, he just shook it out. What is your name and what is your puppy's name? My name is Becky, and this is Chewbacca. Chewbacca, I love it. That is an awesome, awesome mustache. Oh my God, I'm jealous. How long has he been growing that out? Since January? Is that when he was born? No, I trim it every once in a while. Oh, you've been letting it grow out. Oh, right on. Getting prepared for the competition. Let the audience check out the mustache, everybody. Walk up here so you can see it better. Then let the judges check it out. One of our participants in the uh, doggy six-month sprint. It is. Wow, that's a good callback to something people this probably is. All right, reintroduce yourself. Remind everyone your name and the name of your pup. Tiffany and Rodman. Tiffany and Rodman. Rodman's got an awesome, almost looks like Patrick. Patrick, one of our world champions in the club. Very similar. Fu Manchu-ish. Great mustache, everybody. Friendly with children. Unlike Zippy Longstock Nippy over there. Let's have another round of applause for Rodman. Oh, going for those love boats. Oh, shit, the dog. Oh, my God. The dog is a ninja warrior. Bringing your kids up here. Good move, good move. Get the family. What is your name? I'm Mary. Mary? Xander. Xander? Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, Xander. And this is Chewbacca once a... Ewok. Ewok. Oh, Ewok, who we were calling for. Ewok, yeah. Finally, Ewok. I guess you had to make a dramatic entrance. Falling on the stage. What kind of dog is Ewok? He's a uh, Lhasa Apso. Why is he sticking his tongue out at everybody? Is he just like, fuck off? He goes, oh my god, sorry kids. Jesus. Oh, sorry. We'll be also looking for a new MC next year. I can tell that already. Let's hear it for you walk, everyone. I'm so sorry. I don't have kids. Easy, fellow. It's okay. I like you. What's your name and what's your dog's name? Uh, my name's Amy and this is Goose. 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 Goose with the bow tie, rocking it out. What kind of dog is Goose? He's an Airedale Terrier mix. Airedale, how old is he? About eight from the shelter. We adopted from the shelter. All right, we love Adopt Don't Shop. What a great mustache he's rocking. Showing the respectability of his age. Everybody check him out, and then let the judges check him out. Goose, everybody. Oh, yeah, back in effect. Remind everyone your name and your dog's name. And this is Boo Boo. Boo Boo. How long has Boo Boo been growing that stash out? Um, about a year, actually. It's kind of hard when he has the poodle mix in them. It gets really long. It gets curly. 
He looks like he's rocking out. Are you having a good time, Boo Boo? Yeah, you look like you're having a blast. I think he wants a drink. Everybody get a round of applause for Boo Boo. Make your way to the judges. Once again, remind us of your name and your pup's name. John, and this is Sterling. Sterling. Is this Sterling's first time up here? Sterling's got the braids going on. Look at the mustache, all the wisdom. Hey, Sterling. Oh. You kiss the mic. Does it taste like whiskey and bad decisions? Tastes like cursing. Let the crowd give a round of applause. Sterling Sway and Rodman back up on the stage. That's Sterling. Here comes Rodman and there's Sway. All three of you get up in the front here so everybody can take a great look at you. A gander. Will these some great stashes, everybody? All right. Our first place winner is, drum roll please. Sway, everybody, Sway. Sway is number one. You two stay on stage though. No, just, Dave, we got, we got to hurry. No, Vega, Vega, we're in a hurry. Come on, we're in a hurry. Us, let's start. First competitor, please, up here with the dog looking like, well, wow, Jesus, that's Odin and Odin part two. Remind everybody of your name, sir. My name is Martin. And this is Odin. You can tell from the get-go. That might be his real daddy. Big round of applause for everybody. Let the judges check you out. Next competitor, please. Next competitor, please. Dogfight, side stage. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Got his garter stuck. What is your name and your pup's name? My name is Liv, and this is Rogue. Liv and Rogue. You look like you were meant to be. Huh? What kind of dog is Rogue? She's an Australian cattle dog. How long have you had her? I've had her for three years. Her birthday's on Halloween. Do you both get dressed up and go to uh, Six Flags? Obviously. Twins. Everybody give a round of applause. Make your way to the judges table. Nice. Next competitor, please. Make your way to the stage. Oh, yeah. Somebody got the plowed plowed email. What's your name, sir? What's your dog's name? I'm Isaac, and this is Shipley. Shipley and Isaac. A man and his dog that shop together. Nothing really beats that. How long have you had the Shipley? Shipley's about four. How long have you had? Probably four. Right on. Do you guys dress alike often? Not often. You should, because this is awesome. Let the crowd see you. Let the judges check you out. That's amazing. Uh, beautiful. What's your name? What's your dog's name, sir? I'm Robbie, and this is Ruger. Robbie and Ruger. Did you pick Ruger because you both share the same height? Yes. Nice. How long have you two been hanging out dressing the same? Uh, seven months. Seven months? A newbie. New relationship? I hope it works out. I bet if you win it well, let the audience check you out, then let the judges check you out. They're fighting for beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everybody give a round of applause. You don't even need to beat them again. They look great. Oh, yeah. Suspenders in the back and vouch for your suspenders also. Congratulations. Let the judges check out the lookalike here. Beautiful, beautiful. Next competitor. Oh, shit. No weapons allowed at the Mohawk. Security. Can we get a security over here? Dylan, take care. I've never seen a dog saying fuck you more to its owner than this dog right here. The hell did you do to me? Oh my god. The look in his eyes. What's your name, sir? Neil. And uh, what's this dog's name? Toby. How, how happy is Toby right now that you got him dressed up? Uh, he's not too happy right now. It, I don't think he's really dressed up. I think he dresses like that every day. Uh, this is every day. I had to dress up. Which is weird, because aren't you a councilman? Uh, yes, yeah. That's weird. Well, help you're chopping down taxes. Well, well this is our uh, grunge tuxedo, a.k.a. Lumberjack, so it works out. Even flow. Thoughts are wrong. Everybody give a round of hands. A round of hands. A round of hands. Please. 
the stage, young man. You're not worried about the dog, I'm worried about its owner. Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just, I'm just kidding. This is Fury, everyone. What's your name, sir? Taz. T is that your, uh, your full name, like Cher? Yeah. Okay, what's your dog's name? Furia. Is it true that Furia uh, dates my dog, Doggy Trejo? Yeah. Is she the alpha? I don't know. She is the alpha. This dog is mean, strong, beautiful dog. You guys, actually, she's she's a little prettier than you. But I'm not a judge here. Everybody give a round of applause for Furia and our man Taz. Which one's the human? Which one's the dog? They look so nice. They're wild. If you're in the old timer category, you know what to do. Hurry up and get your dogs over here because there might not be much time left. So we got one more coming up here with a look-alike, but old-timers. We named it after our dog, Titan. You don't see Titan here, do you? Don't waste too Is that too much, Stephanie? Stephanie's always shaking her head at me. Old-timers, make your way to the stage, side stage. Let's get our last contestant up here. The dog ran away. The owner of this dog is getting the workout today. All right, back to the stage again. Remind the audience of your name and your dog's name. Danica, and this is Odie. Odie and Danica, everybody. How do they look? Meant to be or meant to be? Give them a round of applause. If you are in the old power category. They're vaping that. All right, everybody, let's give a round of applause. But the owner of Lookalikes did a great job. One more time, give me a drum roll. Crowd, give me a drum roll. In first place to the doggy owner, looking like contest, Toby! <laughs> Do give second place a prize in this one. First, first place gets the prize basket, second place gets put down. That's all we're saying, it's the old timer contest. Hey, that's the roughest thing ever. Four years in a row. Four years in a row. Still doesn't get the laughs I think it should get. Look, he doesn't even need a leash. Once again, up here we have Sway, already a winner. Look, he's on his leg, literally on three legs. How old is Sway? Sway is 11 years old. He doesn't look a day over 14. I swear to God. Everybody give a round of applause for Sway. Not loud. Don't want to fucking scare him. Bastard had a heart attack. We'll all feel bad. Let's hear it for Sway, everybody. Side Rome. That's Rome, by the way. He's been managing everyone on the side stage. Doing a... Well, we could just say, Rome, thank you for a job done. Next competitor, come up to the stage, please. Old-timer category. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's still got a lot of pep. Remind us of your name and your dog's name. Amy, and this is Goose. How old is Goose? Nine-ish. Nine-ish. Goose, how are you feeling? Yes. Let me stop. Sorry, should I say it louder? Goose, how are you feel? He's deaf now. It's okay. Oh, is he really? Oh. Did I hear a niner in there? He could be, just like my dog's. And my wife and my friends. And let's not get into it. Everybody, let's hear it for Goose. Oh, shit. Does he need some help? Rome, give him a hand. Damn. Oh, this is a cutie pie. What's your name, sir? What's your dog's name? Ed, and this is Waylon Blue. Waylon Blue. How old is Waylon? He is 13 and a cancer survivor. Nice. I mean, not nice that he survived it. Nice. Survived and not nice. Fuck cancer, we know what we're saying. How old is he? 13. Did you just say that? I did. I've been drinking. Okay. How long have you had this beautiful dog? She's had him since he was a pup. I'm the stepdad. Ah. Well, as a stepdad, you're doing the duty, so good on you. Everybody give a round of applause. <laughs> Hurry up, make sure he gets his heart medicine. Well, he almost committed, he was gonna jump off the stage. Gretchen, Minister German Schnauzer. Mom, why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> Remind everyone. This is your dog, your name and your dog's name. Danica and Odie. And Odie. 
Odie once again making his way to the stage. How old is Odie? He's 10 years old. He's 10. Looks like going on 12. He just had all of his front teeth removed. Oh, so I'm not afraid if he bites me. What's up? Back turned. How's Odie doing? Is he still, looks like he's got some energy. Okay, I made that up. He looks like he's still moving. Does he move pretty good around the home? Yep. Still like fetch? Uh-huh. I wish you'd have brought a ball because I don't believe you. Let the audience check out Odie again. Back up on stage. Come on. The dogs out. Look, everybody's carrying their dogs. Jesus Christ, if that's not a picture for this category, I don't know what is. Mohawk, you're going to have to invest in a lift for this next year. Oh boy, Jesus. I'd say Jesus take the wheel, but it looks like he's already getting ready in position to take this one pretty fucking soon. everybody I need you guys to do a drum roll but do it really fast cause... first place winner in the old timers category Goose. Goose. look I think we just gave Goose a little extension on life he's so happy Goose, we'll see you again next. So, here's the video. We've had Doggy Trejo now, which have been like just a little over a year. Uh, he's not the greatest. He sounds great. I built him up. He did burn our fucking apartment down. So, besides that, you know, besides that, he's been great. But this is my wife, Diane, who also put this event together. And. Since getting Doggy Trejo, tell them tell them the experience and the adventure and all the things that Lovable does, and you you know what Trejo's experience has been. So Lovable helps to rescue dogs, but that's just a small part of what they do. They actually do a lot of training. They do a lot of responsible dog ownership, where they teach people who own bully type dogs how to be responsible owners. So you get your dog, you get to go to training, you make a deposit, and if you complete your training, you get your money back. That's it. free training for your bully type dog. So Doggy Trejo went through a series of training classes, and because he was such a really good dog, although there's training, there's treats on the stage, so we'll see how that goes. We went through all of the training, and he got to go through the therapy dog training as well. So we have, uh, Lovable has a pit crew, pit bull crew, who does um, therapy dog training. So we go, a little bit. So we, <laughs> thank you to Tito's, I've had some drinks. So we go, <laughs> so we went through the pit crew training where you get to be a therapy dog with your, with your human. So he went through a several week training. He learned how to be with humans who maybe are in wheelchairs or use walkers or children or somebody who's a little bit awkward while they're walking. He also learned how to be, just interact with lots of people. So now he goes to children's events. He most recently went to a veterans affair event where he got to be with lots of people who served our country. And just give them loving. You can see that. <laughs> so Lovable is a really great organization who not only rescues dogs, but if you've already had a, love, a pit type dog, they will help you get training. They will help you be a responsible owner. And if your dog is pretty chill like this, they'll help you be a therapy dog owner and go to lots of great events where you can make people feel really good and promote the pit bull image at the same time. So thank you all for being here, I appreciate it. Time, he went from rescuing him 
from being a bait dog in a fighting ring to now he's a therapy dog. Thanks to Lovable. Hell yeah. Thanks to people that rescue dogs. Ready? Go. Jacob, I don't know what you were doing over there, but damn, I've never seen a dog try to run so fast. Yeah, she's anxious, all right. Show the judges your... Uh... We got a winner, Texas Bass's Shatter. Bo, Bo Jankers, the Texas Bass's Shatter. All right, hope you can make it out tonight. Uh, starts at eight o'clock, thanks. All right, everyone, we, before we close up with the best in show, just once again, thanks to our sponsors, Lone Star, Tillamore Dew, Tito's, the fucking Mohawk, who always does this, the Austin Facial Hair Club, all of our vendors, Rudamaya, 23 Soap Company, Brutastic Soaps, the Texas Roller Derby, Sawtooth Designs, Kindred Folk up here, Clipping Nails. Thank you, uh, Schrody Training Memorial Fund for coming here. Lovable, Austin Pets Alive, Emancipate, the Austin Animal Center. I'm getting there, Vega. Keep drinking, you bastard. And for the prizes, Millie's Wolf Heart Dog Food, Witchcraft, Trader Joe's, Tomlinson's, Slab Barbecue, Dog and Bone, Rudamaya, Tito's, Cala Gonzalez, 23 Soap, all the people that donated things to our raffle, Tomlinson's, the Zoom Room, Infinite Monkey Theorem Winery, Trader Joe's, Scribe 23 Creative, Healthy Pet, Taurus Academy, and dog art from Brian Doc Gross. Let's get the best in show. For the best in show. All the number one winners. Was that Andrew? Thank you. Your one contribution to the fucking day. I appreciate it. Well, there's only two people, which is weird because we had six categories. Look at all these beautiful animals and Neil. <laughs> Listen, we gotta have a hand. Ashley, your job is to put your hand over each person's head. We'll start on this side. All right, listen, everybody in the audience, hush. You guys are gonna decide who the winner is of the best in show, okay? So what we're gonna do here, it's very scientific. The lovely Ashley, who's been helping out and doing such a great job. She will, don't applaud for her, she's not winning. She won, she just, she won by doing just such a great job. So, she's gonna put her hand over the competitor's head. You will applaud. When we get to the end, we might bring up the top three, and then we'll do it again. But before we start, before each one does it, your name and the name of your dog. Corey, his name's Chewy. Woo! Shelly with Seen Dean. Woo! Cindy with Star Zigzag. Yeah! I'm Rome and this is Sway. Yeah! Neil and Toby. Woo! Amy and Goose. Woo! Tell 
Let her know. Zigzag. She's. You're in there. You're in there. I think mostly just because you uh, named your dog after rolling papers. It's a great idea. And because your dog has a glorious, glorious mustache and beard. I don't believe you. All right, we got the top three here. Now we're going to do it all again. One more time. What's your and your dog's name? Cindy and so Zigzag. Neil and Toby. Woo! Amy and Goose. Woo! All right, that was too close. We're gonna do it one more time. Where's Ashley? We're gonna start on this side. Amy and Goose. Neil and Toby! Yeah. Yeah. Cindy and Zigzag. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you guys ready? We all know who it is. That was actually the closest that we've ever had it. Let's have a round of applause for all three of them. of the Austin Facial Hair Club, fourth annual dog beard and mustache competition at the Mohawk is, drum roll. <laughs> Toby! Toby. He said, uh, I want to thank you all for coming today. I've been working on this uh, outfit and costume for a long time.